This video is a continuation of part one of the Machinist Hammer project, where I will be making the brass and acetal faces as well as the trim piece for the top of the handle, and of course, final assembly. If you haven't seen part one yet, be sure to check it out for the making of the handle and the head parts of this hammer. At this point, it's pretty obvious how crooked these threads are getting tapped, and since this part was already more or less ruined, and I'm trying to be stingy with the brass, I figured it wouldn't hurt to try to salvage it before starting over. Since the tap was square to the threads, I mounted the piece with the tap still on it in the truck and faced off the other end square relative to the tap and the threads. After facing the outside end, I flipped the part and squared it in the truck relative to the outside end, which at this point should have been square to the threads. With the part mounted square in the truck relative to the threads, it's pretty obvious how bad the original threads were, which would have led to it fitting on the head of the hammer poorly, leaving a large gap on one side. I was able to then delicately re-square the inside end relative to the threads and salvage the part into a usable piece. Having never worked with acetyl polymer, I wasn't sure what to expect, but aside from some stringiness, it machined very well.
I made the unfortunate mistake of trying to sand the polymer for a smooth finish, but not only was it not needed, it ended up ruining the part. I tried salvaging it, but the diameter ended up too small, so in the end I just had to make a new one. Now for the final assembly of the finished hammer. Initially, I thought I would have to use Loctite to prevent the head of the hammer from loosening with use, but it turns out the trim piece works like a lock nut to lock the handle in place.
I'm really pleased with how the finished hammer came out and hopefully it will last a long time. I hope you enjoyed this two-part series of the making of this machinist hammer and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks!